this next problem, when we go to combine these first and second equations together, we notice that the x's and z's cancel each other out and we get 2y is equal to 4 and therefore we can find out that y is equal to 2 very easily. But we do need to find out what x and z are. So what I suggest we do is to we take 2 for y and substitute it into each of these first two equations, or second and third equations. That gives us negative x plus 2 minus z is equal to negative 2 and 2x plus 3 times 2, that becomes 6, plus z is equal to 11. Now I'd like the x's and z's on the left with the coefficients on the right, so let's clean up each equation. For the first one we will subtract 2 on each side to have negative x minus z is equal to negative 4, and then subtracting 6 on each side we will have 2x plus z is equal to 5. Now you will see that this is a perfect situation where the z's will cancel out automatically and adding down we will get x is equal to 1. So we have our second part of our solution. Now we need to find out what z is and I think the ideal place for us to substitute in is the equation just above where we were at because now we can say instead of 2x plus z is equal to 5, we can say 2 times 1, which is 2 plus z is equal to 5, and have z is equal to 3. So our solution to this system, written as a triple, is 1, 2, 3. That's in x, y, z order. In this next problem, we notice that we are missing some coefficients here, but I still need to choose a variable to eliminate, and I'm going to choose to eliminate the z's here. So I'm going to create 14 z's, multiplying that first equation by positive 7 and the second equation by positive 2. That will give me 21x plus 14y is equal to 77 and the second equation will become 2y minus 14z, this should be a z up above there, is equal to 8. Adding down these 14 z's cancel each other out and we have left 21x plus 2y is equal to 85. Now, I have not used this bottom equation that has x and y in it, and I'm going to choose to multiply it by, well, I don't really want to multiply by 21. Let's instead write that as x is equal to 6y plus 1 and use substitution here. We now would have 21 times 6y plus 1 plus 2y is equal to 85. Okay, we can solve this. 21 times 6, that's 126y plus 21 plus 2y is equal to 85. Combining like terms, we have 128y is equal to, well, let's subtract 21 on each side to get 64, and therefore y is equal to 1 half. So there's a portion of our solution set. Now we need to find x and z. Well, x is really easy to find by using this equation I have in red here, which already has x isolated. So x will equal 6 times 1 half, plus 1. Well, that will be 3 plus 1, and therefore x will equal 4, and there's a second part of our solution. Now we need to find out what z might be, and I'm going to choose to substitute into an equation. I'm looking for one with y and z. This original one does, but I don't want to plug one half in, so let's go up to this line here. 2 times 1 half minus 14z is equal to 8. Well, 2 times 1 half is 1 
minus 14z is equal to 8. Subtracting 1 on each side leaves me with negative 14z is equal to 7, and therefore z, you can see, will be negative 1 half. And we can write this as a coordinate triple, xyz form, of 4, 1 half, negative 1 half, and that will check if you choose to substitute it into each of the three equations separately.